Hello, my name is Danielle and I'm an intern from Durban, South Africa. I'm presenting on our seed fund project, which was a school garden at Kalipa Special School in the township of Komashu. And I partnered with another intern, Madison, and the organization Food and Trees for Africa to do this project. We came to the school several days and the first day we did fruit trees and seedlings. To plant the fruit trees, we went to their back site of the school and we used two liter bottles with holes punched in the bottom near the roots so that when we water the trees, you can just pour water into the two liter bottle, which will release water at the bottom towards the roots and you don't need to waste water in a drought area. We then put mulching on the tree to insulate and keep water even further. Here's me with a lime tree and here's Maddie planting a narchi tree, which is like a tangerine, but it's called narchi here in South Africa. Then we went on to planting seedlings, and here we're planting cabbage, spinach, and chilies. And we interspersed the three types of plants between the beds, because chilies are protective for the other plants from bugs, because they smell and deter them away. Once we were done, it looked like this, and we watered all the seedlings and started to put mulch in here to insulate them as well. These are the big grasshoppers that eat the cabbages. So when we came a week later, we saw that they had eaten quite a few of them, despite us planting the chilies nearby. So we created an organic spray out of water, chilies, garlic, and onions, just boiled together and then put into a spray bottle which makes leafy greens taste bad to bugs, but doesn't harm the plant or us who will eat them in the long run. Then the kids from the school were there that day and they were planting more seedlings with us and they learned all about how to handle them gently and plant them in the garden and do companion planting, which helps uh, protect the leafy greens by putting things like chilies and onions near them. So here they are planting. And then we're watering all of the previous plants, and this is from the week before that we planted. You can see how much they've already grown, and also how many weeds are there that need to get taken out. And there's a teacher showing them how to handle the plants gently. We also learned to spread out the plants by stretching your thumb and pinky to measure the distance that you need between them so that they have enough room to grow and flourish and not compete. Another thing we learned is using these seed trays to grow seedlings from scratch, where you just poke a little hole in the tray, pop the seed in, cover it up, and at the end you'll get 144 seedlings out of these trays, which can be planted into the garden, or they can sell them as one of their products. We also did a herb garden, so this boy is watering a lavender plant there, and they'll be able to sell dried herbs and fresh herbs, and make products out of the herbs as well as flavor some of the food they're eating through their school program. On the last day we were there, we were doing value-added products where they use the plants that they've grown and make it into something uh, new or even better that they can also sell for probably more than just selling the plants themselves. So these boys are chopping up chilies and garlic for an infused olive oil. This group is making a vegetable pickle These guys are scooping them into the jars to make the final product. And when it was done, we had these nice little jars that were labeled, made by the learners at Kalipa Special School. And then we have each group. These guys made the olive oil. These guys made pickle. Uh, these guys also made veggie pickle. And this is my group where we also made some veggie pickles. Then at the end, we took a nice group shot with a bunch of supplies and plants, which was lovely. And as soon as we did this, they did a thank you presentation with some songs and traditional Zulu dancing, which I was able to film and now have the ability to share here.
So here I am with the Zulu dancers, and thank you to them and all the learners for spending time with me and Maddie there. Uh, I can't wait to see how their garden grows, and uh, thank you for listening.